Hey everyone, welcome to Metal Guns and Outdoors. Today we have a new firearm to check out. This is the SCCY, or Sky as I call it. This is their new CPX3 and 380. And of course you get this finely crafted cardboard style box. At least it is better than some. And of course, your instruction manual. And please do not throw this card away. Uh, this is your warranty card. Ah, what's really cool about this one too, right off the bat, it comes with three mags. Which is not bad at all. You see you have the uh, gun lock on here, you get two keys. Mag release is right here. Not sure how many of these hold at all. Let's see if it says on here. It does not say on the box, but we're going to find out because we're going to take it out and shoot it to see if my loader will work on this thing also. But it's nice to get three mags. You see, it's a pretty good looking little old gun. Very similar in looks and style in a way to the CPX 1 and 2. This model does not have the manual safety. It does have a hold open. And yes, before the video I made sure it was not loaded. Pretty easy to pull back. Spring's not that bad. Let's see what we think about this trigger. Typical sky trigger, yeah. Very little bit of take up. 100 pounds, 100 pounds, 100 pounds. Finally, it breaks right there at the very back. Resets all the way at the front. That is a very heavy trigger. I think this, I think that I uh, read somewhere where this is an eight pound trigger. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit much. But it is what it is. It's a double action only type of firearm. And it is a hammer style, as you can see. Uh, it got some good looking three dot sights on it though. Yeah, I do like that. I might be able to see that well. It's a pretty good looking firearm. Doesn't feel too bad in the hand. Got the finger grooves in it. With this magazine. The other two magazines are just your basic flat base. Don't have the extra little grip on there, but I'm sure you can buy that little base. That shouldn't be an issue. Now, taking these down. So you remove the magazine, make sure it's empty, open the firearm, play your slide lock, make sure it's empty. Then you have to actually take some type of tool or something, this little notch piece right here, you have to get it to pop out. The key works just fine. Instead of having on a screwdriver or something like that, once you get that to initially pop out, just pull that pin. You see there's a groove in there, so you can get something in there like that key or a small flathead screwdriver or something. After you remove the pin, take your, undo your safety, then your slide will just move forward and slide right off. No need to pull the trigger or nothing. Pretty basic down in there. Nothing fancy, nothing out of the ordinary. Be easy to get down there and clean it. 
And here we have our slide assembly. Pretty basic sky. Have our single captive spring, which we always like a captive spring. Little barrel seems to come out pretty good. Boy, that is a good looking feed ramp. Check that thing out. It's already got a good smooth polish on it. Really, really nice. Yeah, not bad, guys. See how much of an issue it is to get back together. That's that's always a thing too. Well, at least spring super easy. Alright. Just put her on the rails. Slide her back. Get your lock there. Now you'll notice on the barrel You'll be able to see right, hopefully y'all can see that okay, right through that hole, you got to get that barrel lined up. And you'll notice it because it'll be almost out to the end. Get the barrel lined up, the pin just snaps back in there very easy. You see now it's got it. Just undo your slide stop. And there you go. You ready to rock and roll one more time? Well, there you go. The new Sky CPX3 and 380. Now, the fun part we'll take her outside to the range, put some rounds through her, see if there's any accuracy to it, or if I have any accuracy with it, and see how well it runs. And hopefully it doesn't have no malfunctions or issues. Alright, let's head out to the range and uh, shoot this thing and see what we think. Alright guys, made it out to the range with our Sky CPX3 and 380. We're going to see what this thing's made of. I grabbed a box of uh, PMC bronze, uh, 90 grain full metal jackets. Shot a lot of this PMC ammo. And it had no issues with it. It uh, seems to work well. I want to try my. I'm not sure if my speed loader will work on this little mag here or not. Nope, just a little bit. Not going to fit. I don't want to tear it up. Well, I'll just live through loading, I reckon. Mag's real tight, at least for me it is. That's ten of them. Yeah, that's about as far as it wants to go down. I'm not sure what it's advertised to hold, but uh, for me, it's going to hold ten. Which, if you think about it, is fine for a little compact 380. That's not bad at all. Let's get our ears on. And I uh, didn't bring out my paper targets today. Still got them uh, silver circles up there. Let's shoot at the uh, bottom right one. We got the little magnet on there. Let's see what kind of group we can get with this little compact 38. Well, like I say, the mag seems to go in and out just fine. That well, seems to chamber fine. Well, let's see how she shoots, guys.
not a bad group once I get used to that trigger. That first shot's really low right. Let's see if we can get a little steel with it. Can't believe we missed a Bigfoot now. I don't know. He's pretty wily. Nobody's got a good picture of him, so I can't expect to hit him every time, right? A little old gun run them just fine. Like I say, getting used to that trigger is going to really be something. But, uh, first impressions. Uh, hate loading this mag. It's really taxing out my hand. For those of y'all that are new to the channel, I have uh, issues with my hands. But this uh, spring is really tight. But besides that, the gun is comfortable in the hand. It seems to shoot well for the first 10 foot through it. And except for that trigger, which you got to get used to. Held open like it was supposed to on the last round. Rechambered that one good. So far, so good, right? Trying for a white plate. Well, seems like up close I can hit fairly well with it, but uh, further I stretch it out, the less accurate it is, or the less accurate I am with it. I'm not going to sit here and say there's something inaccurate about that little pistol. I'm not a pro shooter, so this could be a lot my bad. But I'm going to shoot again at the white plate and try to see where they're going. I put five in it. It's easier for me to load. Big yellow. Well, not bad. I really think it boils down to the trigger pull. When I'm pulling that 5,000 pound trigger, I am pulling left or right, I'm sure. I'm just not used to that trigger. I think the gun itself is on. And once you get used to that trigger, and it gets broken in a little bit, I'm sure it ease up a shade. I think that'll be a nice little carry 380. I mean, Sky's done well with both of their 9mm so far. I think coming out with this 380 was a smart thing for them to do. I mean, it's, it's lightweight, it does fit the hand good. Actually, it's more comfortable than their CPX-1 or 2, in my opinion. It's not as thick in the handle. Let's uh let's do his five rapid fire. And uh as rapid as I can do it with this trigger. And see what she's made of. Well guys, it's 30 rounds I put through it. Not a malfunction one. She held open like she's supposed to. And as y'all know, I'm not a fan of the uh, mid-size or the small size pistols. But I will give this one credit where it is due. 
The little gun's got a nice look to it. The sights are on. I can see them well. It is comfortable. And she did not malfunction one time. And I mean, this thing is brand new. I just got this in yesterday afternoon. It hasn't been cleaned, hasn't been oiled. Y'all seen it straight out of the box, brand new. And it just ran without any issues. And once I got that trigger going down pretty good, I did get a good group out of it. Not bad, not bad at all, guys. Well, I would suggest that y'all check one of these out. I mean, for a compact 380 for a good carry gun, or a short range at the range just for having some fun. It's pretty cool, and I gotta say, I like it. Wish the trigger was easier, but hey, you can't have everything, right? Well, there you go. Well, everyone, thanks for watching the video. If you would, please, leave me some comments, any questions, any suggestions. Sure, surely appreciate them. And if you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And if you would, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank y'all, and I hope you have a fantastic day.